Hello Internet, I'm Guy. This video is about live centers for the tailstock in a mini lathe. This is the one that came with my lathe and I'm going to explore some other options, so stay tuned. So a nice precision live center like this is a very useful tool. But there are some situations where you might have a piece of work that you don't want to put a hole in for whatever reason, but you want to be able to capture it at the far end on the tailstock and center it with a live center. So what you're going to need is an inverse live center. In other words, not a pointy cone, but a hollow cone like that. And that's what we're going to talk about today. It just so happens I have a woodworking lathe with an MT2 taper tailstock and a live center that has a taper in it on the inside here and a pin that you can take out. So I can just drop this right in here and that is a really nice live center with a taper in it. So let me put a little piece of metal in my three jaw chuck, bring the jaws, the uh, tailstock in a little bit, tighten that up and let's just see how centering that is. Tighten that up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to run the machine a little bit by hand. Oh, one and a half thou, maybe. So that's really helpful. But what if I wanted to use a piece of metal that was bigger and I wanted to center it in the tailstock? What I did was I made an expander adapter. So this is a piece of steel stock into an aluminum taper that I made. Pretty easy to turn, of course. So now I can put this in here. I engineered the precision fit on this very tightly. And I can tighten that on there. So now I can bring this in, tighten it into there. That's indexed in. Drop this down and let's have a look. All right, turning this very slowly. Okay, that, that's not so great. That's about, oh, let's see, let's index it right there. Yep. Let me put a zero there, that would be better. Yeah, about seven or eight thou. But what I can do, I've learned now from experience, is I can just twist this a few times and bring it in a little bit. That's better. There we go. You see what I mean? That's like four thou, which is acceptable for the level of work that I need to do. And I'm not usually turning right at this end. I'm usually turning at the chuck end. So four thou run out at this end of a 12 inch rod down at that end is almost zero. So I'm fairly pleased with this slight improvement. Now I have another plan for that. So let me talk, go into that. Um, another way of making an inverse live center. This is the live center that came with my mini lathe. And what I've noticed is, of course, you've got some pins in here so you can <clears throat> back this out. Take this off, pull that off, and now you've got the bearings. So you take a chunk of aluminum or steel machine that down to fit on there, and then machine your inverse cone, and you've got a nice inverse cone that will just drop right on there. I think that's an interesting thing, and I'm going to pursue that later, but I just wanted to suggest it to those of you who might find this useful. I'm not ready to do it right now, but it's just a thought. And as long as we're talking centering, I rather like this tool here. This is a centering tool that you can put onto a piece of metal, slide this punch in there and punch to dead center. So you can mark the center of the, the uh, cylinder here, any cylinder, it doesn't matter what size, up down to a really small diameter here. Um, I'll put a link to this tool, I found it really useful, both for woodworking and for metalworking. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, give me a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'll have lots more content coming up soon. Thanks a lot. See you soon.